Good afternoon. Uh, it's uh, quarter past seven here in Sweden, and um, I'm going to see if Ranjan might join me for a live uh, scoot about the Wiki Tactical voting uh, page. Um, it will be streaming line on uh, the Wiki Tactical voting uh, home page. If we just uh, here there we are um, so we're live on the screen there yep that's coming out in my headphones um, so wiki ballot um, this is the wiki ballot uh, web page or a Twitter account rather, and I've been quite busy today with a few uh, tags. This tag here, the Pontefract by-election, these are the top uh, tweets, and you can see Hartlepool wiki tactical voting. Um, this one here, uh, this is a GIF that we made um, when all this stuff was going on about the Surrender Act and Brino and what have you. Um, and it was initiative, an initiative started with uh, John Ward from the Slog. Um, and uh, the logo is, uh, it's supposed to denote a, an open source wiki for people to get together and um, to share thoughts on candidates in elections or whatever level and um, just get together to support the best local candidate for local issues um, and getting uh, the instructions going up the chain um, to the more centralized um, uh, assemblies as it were so for instance a parish council to a local council to a county council um to say a mayoral level if you live in a in a, in a town or a city uh, and then into the um the assembly level if you're in wales northern ireland scotland um and then ultimately to westminster and that now obviously that we're out of europe um the uh ME, you know, there could be a European MEP sort of thing, but also looking at taking it wider um, in terms of comparing notes with people in other countries. Uh, you know, we have the internet and, and you can communicate across borders. So um, I spoke to Ranjan earlier um, and uh, sort of said I thought it'd be quite a good idea if we just did something about the Hartley, um, not the Pontefract, the Hartlepool by-election. Um, for some reason, I had Pontefract in my head. It turns out that Pontefract has a lot of history on uh, by-elections um, when, I, when I searched it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, click on the wiki ballot or wiki tactical voting, wiki ballot homepage. And I've added a new page for the Hartlepool by-election. Um, and there are now 30 headings here. I've just been looking at how to separate out into uh, sub-pages and get this front page in a more user-friendly manner. This is the media, media wiki sort of uh, instructions for doing that sort of thing. Um, uh, you can see there um, that the wiki is actually um, hosted on uh, mihariz.org where they host a lot of wikis and so it saves you sort of having to set up your own server um, and downloading uh, and, and compiling your, your own wiki so it's it's quite quick and, and that's what we decided to do at the time 
Um, and in the talk page, um, it's the main page, and the discussion behind that main page, uh, it gives some updates and some of the original thinking on um, what it was that, that we wanted to be doing. Um, just to give you some idea, if you uh, click on the history, um, the first post here was on the 16th of April 2019. So uh, it's coming up to two years of um, uh, this wiki being in existence. If we go to the main page um, and then go to uh, history there of the main page, there are approaching 600 people that have registered accounts, uh, none of who have actually done any editing as yet. Um, there we go. So that's going to go down. Tone Freaks one, this is me. Um, so, no, anyway, our 15th of April, this was the first, uh, you know, the first edit that was made. So, main page. At the moment, you have to scroll down. Um, this was the original welcome message. Um, John Ward's call to action. So if we open that link. So, September the 8th, 2019, um, John... Uh, what do we call it? A chain letter or something? Um, here we are, a chain letter for the digital age. Um, and this was really about the uh, the lack of people picking up the ball and running with it for Brexit after the 2016 referendum. Um, after a year of all this lockdown business, um, you know, it's, it's easy to uh, forget, you know, how the divisions amongst people sort of set in sort of, uh, you know, quite aggressively with social media really immediately after uh, that, the Brexit referendum um, and then followed in the November by the uh, election of President Trump. Um, and uh, a public discourse and manners uh, haven't really sort of looked back to uh, what prior to that seems almost like a golden age of good manners. Um, so there is a link to the Twitter wiki ballot, a link to a wiki ballot uh, t-shirt site. Uh, I had made a wiki tactical voting um, reverb nation page, but but um, which was going really quite well. Uh, but it was um, uh, I tried to do some post boosting and what have you, but uh, instead of allowing me to do that, they actually closed down the account. Um, and then I also set up a blog. Um, originally on something called Vivaldi, uh, which is another internet provider, but they accused the account of being spamming. They obviously didn't like this idea either. Um, and anyway, we, we made an app which you can you can download and, uh, um, you know, play with, but it, it really is just linking to pages that are already on the, uh, the wiki here. It's a bit of fun that um, Ranjan and I had. Um, so I'm not going to spend the whole time just clicking on all these things. What I really want to do is get into um, the Hartlepool by-election. So the constituency page for Hartlepool is here. If we click on that. And I haven't done 
anything really much tarting it up i i imported the standard wikipedia page for hartlepool in here um, and then added in some additional um things this is a a video actually saying how to do some basic editing within a page how to adopt a constituency if your one isn't already adopted um and then these are photographs i dropped in of the candidates in hartlepool um and i haven't made really any comment on that if you go on the wiki page you can see it links to the different candidates and uh, uh, what have you um, in an ideal world all the candidates would come in here and set up their own sub page uh, you know and sort of say what their own manifesto was and, and, and have a kind of a neutral ground in which to discuss uh, things you know outside of um, the limited commenting that can go on say in, in in local newspapers and what have you you know the idea of a wiki is it's open source and everybody can you know um proceed on the basis of good faith and and and, and um take it from there so this is the leftover from hartlepool which richard tice um contested in the 2019 december 2019 election um and uh you can see he was the brexit party then and he came third uh behind the conservatives um but you can see that the labor majority was down nearly 15 percent um and it should be possible to get someone into this seat who isn't a conservative or isn't labor and give someone else a try um, and um, to actually achieve that uh, if a discussion could be struck up amongst the good people of hartlepool um, they could discuss with all of these other people running um, find what their common ground is and then all get together, you know, whether that should be behind the Reform UK, John Prescott, or um, uh, the Women's Equality, or Adam Gaines, the, the Independent, you know, whatever, um, and, and consolidate that vote to break this red team, blue team charade that we've had in Westminster for the, uh, the past year with... Um, fat blair boris doing uh, more or less as he pleases without recourse to uh to to parliament and um i don't even remember all the fuss about the prorogation of uh, parliament and when it was closed down they were all up in arms about that ahead of um you know brexit brino all the rest of it um and uh you know challenges in the high court and, and, and all sorts of things whereas now on this uh unconstitutional massive lockdown um mask wearing overstepping of uh, the boundaries of um proper community-led policing you know uh just just the the disregard of democratic ideals really um which uh regardless of you know whether you think that masks do any good or whether you feel that you know any of the particular vaccines are going to be something that will be helpful to your own set of circumstances um if you put all that to one side um and and just ask yourself well who's the adult here you know um and you know boris being the adult in the room is laughable in the extreme i think um and the carry on in parliament we've seen over the years with all of the yelling and screaming each other the poor behavior the poor standards etc um are they really the adults in the in the room um i don't think so um I think we need to look at, at the elders in our communities um, and our community uh, organizations, the businesses within our communities, and also the you know the various 
groups of people who organize community activities such as local sports, local clubs, uh, hobbies, um, so on and so forth. Uh, self-organizing, self-managed groups that, that, that get along perfectly well without um, needing to ask Boris every now and again about, um, oh, how many people should we have in our church? How many people should we have in our, our darts club? Or how many people should we have for our sort of Sunday afternoon dominoes? Um, how many people should we allow to come along to our mini rugby training? How many people should be able to come along, you know, getting to the time of year, the cricket training now in the nets and all the rest of it, you know, how many people can be in a net, um, et cetera. So, um, you know, we are subjects of Her Majesty to be technical about it, but we are, we're citizens of the British Commonwealth. And, uh, you know, where we have reached the age of majority uh, to vote, um, to go to war, um, to answer for any of our uh, acts which are rightfully deemed illegal under, under, under proper legislation and laws, um, if, if, if we're old enough to answer to those uh, with sanctions that the state uh, can impose, we're certainly old enough to make some decisions about, one, what those rules should be. Uh, but further than that, we're, we're, we're certainly old enough and wise enough to manage what's best for our, our nearest and dearest and our loves, what, loved ones, etc. cetera. Um, that isn't something that should be mandated from upon high, uh, from outside of the Westminster bubble, as it were. So, um, I mean, I'm setting out my own uh, views here, um, but um, feel free to, you know, dive into the discussions on Wikiballot and, and let's talk about these things and, um, and let's agree to disagree in a grown up way it, 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 if, if we can't bring something new that will adjust thinking um, of, 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 uh, of each other in, in, in such a discussion. But platforms like Wikis, that's what they're for um, and they allow for a good degree and a broad degree of discussion introducing um, information which different people will have accumulated through a lifetime's experience through um, an experience of a specific unique kind within another community, another country, from being exposed to other cultures. Um, and that's what a conversation about the management of our communities is about. Um, and uh, wikis are a great way of actually doing that. And that was the idea behind um, Wikiballot and getting Wiki, Wikiballot going. Uh, so Hartlepool is, is there um and uh the headings at the top of the page will jump to that particular uh uh part of 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 of, of interest now anyone can can go on this page um you can sign up for an account and edit or you can actually edit a page anonymously um if it's vandalized then anyone can go in and undo any vandalism um, now uh, there are administrative privileges that, that rest with me at the moment um, and also with the people of uh, Mayor Ease. Um there was a spam bot which uh, the IP has been banned not by me but by Mayor Ease. so I think um, uh, it's uh, it, it, it's it's on trust you know, it, it, it's like a, an open buffer, if you like, and uh, um, it's not really expected to take too much or leave too much or, um, or, or to be wasteful or discourteous of the other, uh, other guests at, at, at the, um, 
at the location and um uh, that that's how wikis work um and i i think wikis are a, a very useful tool um just a word on wikis uh this is the wiki design principles on the ward cunningham uh um, wiki and Ward Cunningham invented wikis. Famously, we know that um, uh, Jimmy Wales, Jimbo Wales, and um, uh, Larry, whatever he's called, um, Larry Sanger um, are the co-founders of Wikipedia, which is the most famous wiki in the world, really. Um, and uh, Wikipedia uh, has a tremendous amount of, 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 of traffic. Um, and I can show you uh, how much. This is the Yumpu magazine platform, and I, uh, Homatics, that's uh, one of my businesses, uh, but I've been publishing other things on this uh, on this platform, uh, one of which is a series on Wikipedia, and uh, this gentleman here, Vernon Coleman, and uh, how he's been treated on that platform. Now, uh, why it matters, let's just, uh, just look at this here. Um, As I'm streaming live, it's going to load a little more slowly than before. So this is the top 100 uh, websites in June 2019. And Wikipedia is here. It's the fifth largest. But you can see Google, Facebook. Um, there's Wikipedia. Wikipedia is bigger than Pornhub. Amazon, the sub-Amazon stuff. Um, this is... That's obviously Windows things. Um, now, I'm not sure if there's a link to that graphic so we can get it a bit bigger. I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't read it. Um, but it's the fifth largest uh, platform. Uh, hold on, let's just do this. Look, 100 largest websites. Okay. Yeah, that's it. The visual capitalist one is very good. Um, so that's the one that's on the front of that cover there. Um, and down here, uh, monthly visits in billions. Wikipedia has 4.69 billion monthly visits. Um, Facebook has four times that much, uh, YouTube has around five times that much, and Google, or Alphabet Inc., has about 12 times that much. Um, in terms of how web traffic is distributed, um, the top 100 websites account for the vast majority of traffic on the internet, um, and then it drops off very, very quickly. It's a very long tail. Um, and that's actually quite significant in terms of trying to communicate um, and actually put forward uh, views which are outside of the dominant views of what is effectively American or G7 or the Washington consensus or the Washington consensus corporate agenda. Um, and uh, the World Economic Forum, so all the Davosites, etc., um, they have way more sway over what happens in 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 the fat end of of, of, of this. Um, so, put another way, uh, they they live, they dine very very high on the pig. Um, high on the hog is 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 the term and uh 
so that 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 that's worth bearing in mind and the control of wikipedia is explained and how it's evolved is explained by its position as being the fifth largest and yet the most open platform for people to discuss um different views and uh what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back here to hartlepool and the hartlepool wikipedia link is here this is the main wikipedia article on hartlepool which has got a lot of great information um Right, the 21-month gap between the last election in Brecon and Radnorshire in August 2019 and the polling day of the by-election in Hartlepool will be the longest since World War II. Okay, that's an interesting factoid there, people. Um, now, um, Hartlepool, named after the town of the same name, has been held by the Labour Party since 1964. Um, I was born in 1964, so I can tell you that that is... Uh, uh, 56 years ago i'm 57 in september um, and i was born in september 1964. Um, president kennedy was assassinated in 1963 before i was born um, i can remember talking to a boss of mine once and he was also well you must remember where you were when kennedy was shot everybody remembers that i can remember vividly what when that news came um over the uh the radio this is a guy called Philip King I used to work for at London Shop PLC. And I said, well, Philip, I hate to tell you this, but I, I wasn't born in 1963. In fact, I, I think it even happened when I was still a, you know, a, 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 a glimmer in my father's eye, as it were. Um, so former MPs have included Peter Mandelson. Now, there's quite a lot of rich um irony in that one isn't it peter mandelson the prince of darkness uh the uh original neoliberal spin doctor um uh tony blair's spin doctor of the third way um who is very relaxed about people being filthy rich um if you don't remember who Peter Mandelson was, um, he, 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 he's, uh, he's kind of political Marmite, as it were, except in his case, um, uh, it's a very, very acquired taste, even more so than the Marmite itself. So the candidates are um, SDP, David Bettany, and then there are these links. So this will show that that's an article in the Hartlepool Mail, published on 29th of March 2021. Northeast uh, Independence Party, uh, Hilton Dawson. And here's a link there. Uh, you can go to the Sund Sunderland Global Media article on 24th of March 2021. Nick Delves, Monster Raving Looney Party, there, 12. You can go to the Hartlepool Mail to read about Nick 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 Dells. Women's Equality Party, Gemma Evans. Uh, here's an article here in The Independent. Um, quote, we can't let politicians get away with inaction. Hartlepool by-election candidate demands action on tackling violence against women and girls. Um, right, okay. Independent, Adam Gaines. There we are, Hartlepool Mail. Um, He's a Hartlepool pub owner, joins by-election race and pledges to donate half MP's salary to food banks. Liberal De Democrats, Andy Hagan, uh, Hartlepool by-election, Lib Dems reveal Andrew Hagan as candidate, BBC News. Um, independent candidate, Samantha Lee, uh, Hartlepool mam to stand as independent MP for, uh, for by-election. Mam is... Uh, in Wales, um, we refer to our mothers as ma'am, and I'm assuming it's the same in Hartlepool. So Hartlepool, ma'am, to stand as independent MP for election, the Northern Echo. So let's just have a read of this, shall we? A Hartlepool mother and businesswoman has thrown her hat into the ring for the town's upcoming by-election. 
Samantha Lee, a businesswoman, having set up her own public relations firm 15 years ago, following a decade-long career in journalism. She has worked with several Hartlepool businesses, including Seymour Engineering, Hartlepool College of FE, GMB Recycling, Hart Biologicals, and Gus Robinson Developments, whilst being a member of the region's business groups. Ms Lee said a key factor behind her decision to enter the race to become Hartlepool MP is down to the fact that she believes an independent voice in the corridors of power would go some way to helping to improve the prospects for the next generation. She said, as a mother to seven-year-old Billy, the lack of opportunities offered to him and other youngsters when they grow up frightens me. There should be no reason for this. Hartlepool is a town with huge potential. Don't ever let Westminster or anyone else tell us otherwise. We just don't have a voice speaking up for us and haven't for a very long time. Yes, we have our social problems, crime and health issues, and they can't be dealt with overnight. But a prosperous, happy, proud town would go a long way to helping everyone and nobody is getting left behind. Ms Lee was educated at Brighton and later Hartlepool Sixth Form and Hartlepool College of FE. That's further education. She said she is hoping that knowledge will give her a huge advantage over some of her rivals who, despite having the weight of political parties behind them, will be encouraged into towing their party line rather than actually pressuring government to taking the voice of Hartlepool into Westminster. Ms Lee, 44, added, every time there is an election, we see people parachuted into Hartlepool for a couple of weeks to knock on doors. Then as soon as the election is finished, they jump on the Grand Central and go back to wherever they came from. They trot out the same generic pledges, but people can see through them. It needs to change. And if we end up voting in a Labour or Tory MP, are we really confident that is actually going to happen? If the Tories get in, they have an 81 seat majority. If Labour gets in, the Tories have a 79 seat majority. Ultimately, nothing changes. They are both duty bound to toe the party line. I'm out and about in Hartlepool every single day, not just because I'm trying to win votes. I live here. I speak to the parents at the school gates. I deal with businesses. I socialise with friends in the pubs. Everyone is saying the same thing. They are sick of politicians and political games. They want someone with honesty and integrity to speak up for the town and someone who isn't political or bound by party whips. Ms Lee has held meetings with several Hartley Pope called business and community leaders and is keen to push the benefits of the town's free port status, which she believes has the ability to attract thousands of jobs to the town and bolster existing businesses through supply chain demand. She added, I have spent a vast amount of my 15 years in business working alongside organisations such as the Chamber of Commerce, Tees Valley Business Club, the Entrepreneurs Forum, Teesside University and many others. Hartlepool was recently made a free port and we have vast waves of developable land around our port that is ripe for attracting big companies in industries such as wind energy, electric car batteries, recycling and hydrogen production. We also have tremendous colleges and skills academies ready to train generations of workers. I've spoken to businesses and they're all encouraged by that. But there is always that nagging doubt that in the end, Hartley Paul will be the poor relation because that's what always happens, isn't it? I know firsthand what a poor share we get as compared to the rest of the region. And that's because we haven't had someone working with the purse string holders, proposing intelligent solutions for a very long time. If the people of Hartlepool want me to do that, I will stand for them. Put an independent in and they demand what's due to Hartlepool and nothing else. These parties will tell you that voting for an independent is a wasted vote. Don't fall for it. What an excellent piece. I'm, I'm glad we clicked on that. Um, so that is in the Northern Echo, uh, a piece written by Laura Nolan, the staff reporter. So let's just uh, open that link. Let's go here um, and let's just let's just say thank you. Oh, that account doesn't exist. That's interesting. Um, OK, let's just go back from where we came. Uh, 
here we are, Hartley Pool Echo. We're just going to go on there. Okay, and we're going to go here. And we're going to just do this. Look, there we are, there live. Look, um, Pontefract violation. Here we go. Face. Just read live on wiki ballot. Send fat glare a message vote local stay local think federal be the solution citizens of Hartlepool. There we are. Um, and then we want to find, uh, have we got that tag for, uh, here we go. Let's have a little look here. We're looking for Samantha Lee. Search Google for Samantha Lee. Hartley Pool by election. Uh, Twitter. Give me, I cannot find your Twitter handle, but what I am going to do is I do know uh, that I did a tweet earlier with the other Twitter handles I could find for the other candidates, um, and I'm more than happy to uh, read out messages that they would want to give and put them over our own modest platform, um, but you can get on Wikiballot you can get on StreamYard and you can have virtual town halls um, and, and, and discuss these issues. You know, don't be uh, uh, don't be kept from the electorate by these uh, petty fogging um, rules which are dreamt up on a whim by uh, uh, Messrs. Gove and Johnson, a.k.a. Fat Blair. Um, here we are. Right, this is... There you go. So I'm a great believer in localism. If I was in Hartlepool, I would be looking to vote for an independent. And what I would say is, people of Hartlepool, you're jolly lucky to have such a great candidate as that. Um, you know, agreeing to stand. Um, so here we go. Let's just uh, tidy this up a bit. Just in terms of tags and whatnot, how this all works. Um, tags are a way of linking to information, which I showed at the beginning of this uh, this broadcast. Um, So let me just show you how that works. Uh, right, we've got a few. Right. Copy and bang here. Is that the one? Yep. Paste. Uh, but a bum bum. Susan Sittens and. do this and we want to put in there we go look Hartley pool by election copy there I'm going to just put that in here just here And 
and we'll have a Boris in here too. There he is. Where are you? There he is, old Bozza. So let's just read that through. Just read live on Wiki Ballot. Send Fat Blair, Boris Johnson, a message. Vote local, stay local, think federal. So here we go. Let's just see if we can get a couple of hashtags going here. So there we are. Vote local, stay local, think federal solution. Right, there we are. So, just read live on Wiki Ballot. Send Fat Blair Boris Johnson a message. Vote local, stay local, think federal solutions. Hartlepool by election. There we go. All right, and then we're going to change that to that. Live on Wiki Ballot, send fat blab. Now, then what we're going to do is we're just going to take that there, like that, you know, copy. And we're going to hit send there now. There you go, and that's just come up in the live feed here. I'll just go back and see what's coming through the feed here. Um, here we go. So, Wiki Ballot, this is the page. Uh, that's the pin tweet, and that's the one we just did there. So, I can't believe I put Pontifract in there again. <laughs> right, so then we're going to go like that, like that. We're going to retweet, and we're going to do that. Put that in there, like the same fact for this Hartlepool by-election. Right, let's just cut that out there. Okay, and we're just going to... Thinking out loud in public here, where are we? I'll just leave that on the page there a second, just go here. Right, there we go. I'm gonna wrap this up in a few minutes. Um, just gonna get this done. Um, there we are, that's the one. Let's just click on there. And we're just going to do this. Right, here we go. Right, OK. Uh, Samantha Lee, Hartlepool by-election. live go there and then we're going to do this again just put another lo nice link up there copy that there pop that in there
we are and then off she goes there we are so samantha lee independent candidate at hartlepool so let's just get back to the wikipedia article so for instance if you have a particular candidate that you think is uh you know best fitted for for, for dealing with uh with hartlepool um and i think we've just seen a very good candidate there um okay i've got so many windows open i'm just going to do one last thing here look so you land on the home page here it is the main page of wiki tactical voting wiki ballot hartlepool by-election okay go to constituency page there you go there uh there's the list of candidates the links aren't working there because i just imported it in here we go um And then that's the main Wikipedia on the posh Wikipedia. Um, and we were just going down here, weren't we? We did uh, Samantha Lee, uh, Farmer to Stand for Conservatives in Hartlepool by election, that's on the BBC, Reform UK, uh, John Prescott, John Prescott to stand in by election for Reform UK party, Northern Independence, Thelma Walker. Listen to a really interesting podcast. Um, with Thelma interviewing um, uh, Ash Sarka, uh, you know, uh, and I, I was listening to that earlier, it's w worth a listen. Paul Williams, now he's famously been parachuted in, and this is what Thelma was saying about uh, who's an ex-Labour MP, um, this idea of uh, parachuted in candidates. Uh, I've been joking to my friends that um, you wouldn't be surprised if they tried to parachute in David Miliband and, and shoehorn him in instead of uh, Keir Starmer. Um, but uh, anyway, here we go. Look, uh, NHS doctor and former MP Paul Williams, he's the Labour car, um, lost his seat in 2019 in nearby Stockton South. Uh, had been standing for the position of Cleveland Police and Crime Commissioner. Uh, UK Independence Party announced their intention to stand a car, uh, the same day as Northern Independence Party announced their intention to contest. Um, so that's that. Reform UK leader Richard Tice, who stood in this seat in the general election and came a very respectable third. Um, so reform uk that's john prescott not two shags prescott but but um this is another john prescott um and uh there's the looney party the lib dems not the looney party that's the liberal democrats as opposed to the off official monster rave looney party uh and then on 6th of April, former journalist and local businesswoman Samantha Lee announced her intention to stand as an independent candidate, lobbying for Hartlepool to be awarded Freeport status. So there we are. That's the riders and runners in Hartlepool on 6th of May 2021. Um, now, I did a blog on this earlier. Cov exit spring 2021 take back control on may 6th with wiki ballot hartlepool by-election send fat blair packing Co covex spring 2021 so, so again so and this is a blog i i did uh our, our nation is an island it's our right as the peoples of britain um to vote the scoundrels out is what it basically says um so you might want to have a read of that it's linked etc and then this here i'm going to play out with this uh this is naomi uh klein uh on a mainstream us channel uh with her opinion on um the 
vaccine passports really being a digital bank passport. So see what you think of this. with your PayPal account, with your digital currency. Microsoft uh, is already talking about merging it with um, payment plans. Your uh, networks can be sucked up. It geolocates you everywhere you go. Your credit history can be included. All of your medical history can right, be included. Right, I don't think there was sound on that kicking off, so we're going to re-watch that. Um, and let's just make sure it's nice and loud. There we go. Thanks, Ranjan. <clears throat> I was rather hoping you might join me, old chap, um, but we can do that later. I'm just going to wrap up here. Um, so, what's happened here now? Right, hold on, I know where we go with this. Let's just go back here. Here we jolly well go. Let's just refresh that page and uh, we'll play that again on the, oh, it's not loading very quickly now, is it? Hey, this is live guys. Uh, the perils of live internet streaming uh, when you've got too much stuff open on your machine. Lewis. Uh, oh, actually, here we go. Here's, here's another window open. Um, which would be in the right place. It's just uh, okay. Right there we are. This is the Odyssey Tone Freaks Roger Lewis on um, Odyssey channel. It used to be called Library L B R Y. Some very interesting things on here. Um, and here we are. It's a digital bank passport, not a vaccine passport. We're going to play out with this. This is the distributed web, folks, so it's got to, uh, here it comes. Dating this, I can't say it forcefully enough. This is literally the end of human liberty in the West if this plan unfolds as planned. Vaccine passport sounds like a fine thing if you don't understand what those platforms can do. I'm CEO of a tech company. I understand what this platform does. It's not about the vaccine. It's not about the virus. It's about your data. And once this rolls out, you don't have a choice about being part of the system. What people have to understand is that any other functionality can be loaded onto that platform mm. with no problem at all. And what that means is um, it can be merged with your PayPal account, with your digital currency. Microsoft uh, is already talking about merging it with um, payment plans. Your uh, networks can be sucked up. It geolocates you everywhere you go. Your credit history can be included. All of your medical history can be included. So that was Naomi Klein um, live on Fox News. Um, it's not about a passport. It's not about a vaccine. It's about your data online, people. Uh, Palantir, Peter Thiel, uh, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, um, the whole kit and caboodle, they are after your data and they want to control what you think who, 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 who you uh, there we are vaccine passports your ticket to tyranny Ron Paul Liberty report hello everybody and thank um, you for tuning in to the Liberty Re right so I'm going to knock off there if you've been watching thanks very much um, I'm, I'll put it up on a live stream later and 
over and out. 